Here's a crazy story. Here's a story I would say only in America is this possible, but really, more specifically, only in Alabama is this possible. Alabama Supreme Court (laughs) ruling raises questions about IVF access from ABC News. Experts are speaking out after the Alabama Supreme Court ruled Friday that frozen embryos qualify as people under state law a decision that critics say could threaten families' access to fertility treatments in the post-Roe era. It could get them some more seats in Congress, though, and some more votes in the Electoral College. I mean, that's a real population boom there, according to the Supreme Court, that uh, these embryos are people. In an unprecedented decision, the state's highest court ruled that, quote, unborn children are children without exception based on developmental stage physical location, or any other ancillary (laughs) characteristics. Alabama Chief Justice Tom Parker quoted the Bible, oh, in a concurring opinion, citing the sanctity of unborn life. Okay, well, that explains it. That's that's not at all uh, disturbing. Yeah, yeah. When you start <laughs> quoting the Bible as, yeah, you know, and 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 the same people who would uphold this, who would say that that's great because it's a Christian nation, are are the same people who will be going on about the horrors of Sharia law. Right. Yeah. I mean, exactly. what what is that? What is that? That that's Sharia law. You're governing by Sharia law. Of course. Uh, Dr. Mammy McLean, an infertility specialist at Alabama Fertility in Birmingham, Alabama, told Good Morning America the court's historic ruling could impact the future of in vitro fertilization treatments for those trying to access fertility treatments, adding that for her, the ruling left more open questions than answers. Let's find out why. We're concerned that this ruling has far-reaching consequences for what we feel is safe to freeze and safe to discard, McLean said. Doctors like McLean warn the ruling could block access to IVF, make the process more expensive, or lead to some clinics closing altogether because of legal risks. This ruling is so incomplete, and it leaves those of us who are sitting face-to-face with patients with the inability to comment on what is safe and what is legal for them right now, McLean added. The case on which the court ruled Friday involved two couples who sued a patient who had managed to access the freezer that stored frozen embryos at an Alabama fertility clinic. The patient picked up multiple embryos and accidentally dropped and destroyed them. The high court ruled that the patient could be held liable in a wrongful death lawsuit. That's why this is creating a crisis. And here we go. February 23rd, Alabama's biggest hospital to suspend transfer of embryos after court ruling. Alabama's biggest hospital announced it will no longer be shipping any embryos out of state or to another facility just days after saying it was pausing IVF treatments. The developments come in response to a state Supreme Court decision that said frozen embryos are considered children. Several families told ABC News they were considering moving their embryos out of state in order to continue IVF treatment. University of Alabama at Birmingham Hospital said it has been unable to identify shipping companies that are able and willing to transport embryos. So now not only could the hospitals not have them because it's a liability risk if they are discarded wrongfully, quote unquote, or dropped accidentally, but now a shipping company, yeah, they don't want to be on the hook for 300 deaths, you know, if something happens to them, right? Uh, on Thursday, two more Alabama fertility clinics uh, said they will stop providing in vitro fertilization treatment. This is a good mob thing. Hey, I got a 400 have, embryos. Have to call guys truck, like you. you know? They're yeah. going to gonna have to call the, uh, the Lyft and the Uber drivers to bring these out of state. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was about to say, I can give them a sample. Mine are still good, apparently. Uh, on Thursday, two more par- two more Alabama fertility clinics said they will stop providing in vitro fertilization treatment. Alabama fertility specialists and the Center for Reproductive Medicine in Mobile have each decided to pause treatments, they announced Thursday. We have made the impossibly difficult decision to hold new IVF treatments uh, due to the legal risk to our clinic and our embryologists, Alabama Fertility Specialist said in a statement. We are contacting patients that will be affected today to find solutions for them, and we are working as hard as we can to alert our legislators as to the far-reaching negative impact of this ruling on the women of Alabama. Alabama fertility specialist vowed not to close its doors and said it will continue to fight for our patients and the families of Alabama. 
quote, at a time when we feel so powerless, advocacy and awareness is our strongest tools. Check back in later uh, today for links to advocacy opportunities, the group said in a statement. Okay, so we talk a lot about on this show about the dire state of the Democratic Party and how its brand is in the toilet and, and how Biden's poll numbers are rightfully in the tank. Um, if the Republicans want to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory this year, just like they did two years ago, great way to do it with shit like this. Just absolutely batshit insane rulings like this uh, to the point where even a lot of their politicians have distanced themselves from this, including the most important one, which we'll get to in a second. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, that is the proviso on everything, because remember – Everyone thought the midterms was going to belong to the Republicans. And you're, you're seeing again and again that there is a row backlash vote that doesn't necessarily show up in the polls for whatever reason. But then mm -hmm. once you get to the voting, boom, you have all of these people who are voting on that, um, even in these deep red states, because motherfuckers need abortions there, too. It, it's something that whatever rhetoric people have, this is just something that touches everybody's lives. There are very few people in America who are so religious that, you know, when they get freaking knocked up in the back of the Dairy Queen, they're going to have the kid. And they do not want the government telling them that they have to have that child under these kinds of circumstances or, you know, on a more serious note, rape, incest, they don't even want to make exceptions. Um, I'm right, right now I'm staying in New Orleans and I got to say, it's, look, I don't live there, I'm, uh, but I have a pretty good eye, man. That place is definitely not, it, people say after Katrina it changed a lot. I'm sure that's true. I'm not close enough to it to, to really comment. But I was there pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. And sure, the pandemic happened, but something else happened. The Roe v. Wade. And Louisiana has some of the most draconian laws. So what I think happened, because I'm telling you, that art scene that I saw in 2019, it's gone. It's gone. I mean, in pockets, I suppose, but it's just not there. I think these people left because the surrounding states they could still work in, right? New Orleans locked down like blue, blue style. Florida, Texas is right there. I think they went over there. And then they fucking outlawed abortion. Who the oh, fuck is? Look, look, artists are not the least promiscuous people in the world, all right? It's, it kind of comes with the fucking territory. Who the hell is going to come back from that field to live in a place where you could get prosecuted in a situation like that? I, I think it was a double whammy, honestly, that, that kind of like sucked a lot of that what remained of it out well the thing about this is this isn't even abortion this is about making it easier for couples who are having trouble well, yeah, conceiving yeah. to actually yeah. have a baby so as donald trump says under my leadership the republican very, party very intelligently i must say of course he's got, he, th there's a very smart statement He's got a, a perfect brain. This is a perfect statement. It's a beautiful made. statement. A Under beautiful my leadership, statement. the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservative Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. Today, I am calling on the Alabama legislature to act quickly to find an immediate solution to preserve the availability of IVF in Alabama. The Republican Party should always be on the side of the miracle of life and the side of mothers, fathers, and their beautiful babies. IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life he didn't put a maga at the end he usually does yeah that. <laughs> he um, usually does. <laughs> but this was the problem this is why chief and that's justice very smart framing frankly to well, frame well, it's the as obvious being framing. pro yeah. family right well yeah and and this is why chief justice john roberts was lobbying the conservatives hard not to overturn roe v wade because it's not a prudent 
ruling because there are a million things downstream of that that you don't anticipate right. once yep. you open that yep. door, such as yep. not only hospitals being afraid to handle embryos because now, oops, an accident, now you're on the hook for a, quote, wrongful death. People who ship embryos, do truckers want that responsibility? Fucking Chicago Ray, does he want there? It's a motherfucker, I ain't fucking driving no embryo yeah. down, to, down to Alabama. Hell no, fuck that. He's the guy who wanted to boycott New York City uh, over the Trump. We, we like, got to get that guy that. on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, you think they want to deal with that shit? No one wants to deal with that shit. It creates nightmares that you can't anticipate. And that's why it was as disastrous as it was when that was overturned. And that's why. The Democrats still have a card they can play. As fucked as they are, they still have a card to play. Now, it's not enough to save Joe Biden because of the young voters and the Arab voters, but it could be enough to get a Gavin Newsom over the line. If they swap him out for a generic Democrat, this issue could be the thing, could be their Hail Mary that's actually catchable in the end zone. Uh, that's it, because we were all surprised by the midterms. So that that is the one thing. Now, I, I've been saying all along, you're probably going to get a split decision, which would be consistent with that. I think a Republican wins the presidency. But I think because of this issue, Democrats hold on to one, if not both, or take both chambers. The Republicans have, you know, this much of a majority in the House. It wouldn't take much to flip the House. So you could wind up with Democrats with both the Senate and the House. I still think the presidency will go to a Republican because on the Democrat side, it's just such a shit show. I, I think you're probably right. They're going to swap out Biden. That's not going to work. Like you can't. No, I mean, just, as of just, right now, Newsom is actually polling worse against Trump than Biden. They're starting to poll Newsom versus Trump. He's actually polling lower. Yeah. All right. So we, we're planning on having a Nissan. I'll do a little victory dance there because we, we <laughs> had it out about that a while ago. Well, We'll see. I mean, like I said, I, I was always Newsom, very skeptical of Newsom's chances as a national candidate. They're still better than Biden's at this point, even with those polls being lower, even with those polls being lower. I, I think you're I think you're right, because no. it, it, he's because less of a known of, quantity. It, he can make up ground where Biden can't. Well, and what's going to happen when they try to put Biden on a fucking debate stage? What yeah, the no, hell do you think is going to happen? Of course. Like no, whatever they shot him up with last time, I don't think he's got enough brain cells left to animate for that long. Please clap.